Hi guys, this is I'm Stark and today we are looking at diet and exercise and what makes a healthy diet. So first of all, we need to know what a balanced diet is. And a balanced diet is something that keeps you healthy and everyone has to have a balanced diet. So a balanced diet consists of seven main um, ingredients or sources of food. Now, uh, the first of these is carbohydrates, which obviously gives you energy. If you eat too much of these, then you get fat. Um, but if you eat too little, then you'll be underweight. The next is proteins. Now, proteins is used to help with growth and repair. Then fats help build up um, fat for insulation. Again, you cannot eat too much of it, but um, you need to have a little bit to obviously keep you warm and everything. Then vitamins and minerals. Uh, you need to eat a little bit of this to, uh, to help your body work healthily. Then fiber helps with the digestive system. And then water is obviously essential to keep yourself alive. Now, if you don't have a balanced diet, then you will end up malnourished, which is the word you have to make sure you use in any exams. So, um, however, obviously, it's quite a simple equation that if you eat more energy than you use up, then you'll become overweight. However, if you eat less energy than you use up, then you will become underweight. So men are typically meant to have 2,500 calories a day and women 2,000 along with children 2,000 calories a day. Um, however, obviously if you're doing loads of exercise then you should be eating more or if you're doing a very little exercise then you uh, traditionally eat less. But the next thing we need to talk about is the metabolic rate. Now the metabolic rate is the rate of chemical reactions that happen in your cells. Um, now, these, uh, the metabolic rate is, uh, is affected by many different factors. Firstly, um, men normally have a higher um, metabolic rate than women um, because the proportion of muscle to fat in your body affects the metabolic rate and uh, normally uh, men have a higher proportion of muscle to fat in the body. Um, however, obviously you can change this factor by exercising and so some women will have a higher muscle to fat proportion in their body than men. Um, so obviously another thing is um, the metabolic rate can also be affected by the amount of activity you do. Now exercise increases your uh, metabolic rate even after you stop exercising. Now finally age um, can is also uh, a big factor because younger people generally have a higher metabolic rate than older people. Now this is, sim this is simply why young people can eat a lot of food and not uh, get fat whereas old people struggle to um, eat a lot of food and keep the weight off. Um, and But as you get older your metabolic rate normally um, de decreases and that means that you will be able to e eat less food. Um, and then there's also the um, finally the the basic can it be affected by genetic factors uh, that you inherit from your parents and um, that's why some people uh, are born it you cannot change anything it's impossible to affect or change it so that's how inherited factors can affect your health so thanks for watching can you please visit my website and subscribe to my channel it really does help me and i really do appreciate it so thank you and see you soon bye